Today, we are surrounded by the consequences of degeneration, flooding, extreme drought, fires, habitat loss, extreme temperatures, and failing crops. We keep trying to sustain what's broken, but it's not enough. As a farmer, I have hope because the solution is right under our feet, our soil. The journey to regenerative agriculture for me was strictly economic. Uh, it was more cost effective for the cows to eat grass than to buy feed. Learning to live within the means of what my farm could provide made a huge impact for us in terms of our local economy because we, we only used local, we used local processors, and then we sold local. We tried our best to sell everything we could in our zip code. Without increasing my sales, I gave myself a raise because I focused on local. We've improved the health of our livestock. We've improved the, the grasses and species and varieties and diversity that we have out in the land. And so it takes less space to feed these animals. But when you add those commas and zeros up, at the end of the year and your banker smiles at you, that's a freaking win. Through this whole process of increasing biodiversity on our farm, we have been able to eliminate insecticides and uh, fungicide applications. So those are no longer part of our, our plan. Um, those have yielded uh, big savings as well. Uh, not only is uh, regenerative agriculture good for the water cycle and good for emissions and good for stopping soil erosion, but it's definitely um, good for our business as well. The conservation stewardship program has been extremely valuable. Um, we do also use the conservation reserve program as we go into the next stages of reintegrating cows into grazing cycles into our system. Uh, that we will also uh, be implementing the EQUIP program. The conservation plan is huge and EQUIP. EQUIP has been great. The only downfall of the program is the time in which it, we get responses back to the potential client. We took advantage of, of the EQUIP programs both within, within our pastures in converting cropland into pasture land. The education on, on how to do these things, these practices and principles is is vital it's absolutely key so this education piece for everybody it's not just for the farmers but for our city cousins for our government officials for our government agencies for our politicians join us in calling for strong support for regenerative agriculture and the farm bill